Hello everyone, today we want to develop a small application where we have a rotating sun like it is shown here. We start with an empty application where we have here a container and here we want to provide a sun widget which we will create in our widget directory and we don't want to have a stateless widget, we will go with a state anon. So we have our animation controller here automatically created. We have a single ticker provider state mixum, which is needed for our animation controller and also the dispose method here. The next thing we want to do is to create an animation here of double, which we call rotate animation because we want to rotate our sun. And this rotate animation has to be initialized in our init state method. So we go here with trim double and the begin is zero zero and the end is two multiplied p. Animate it here with our controller. We take two p here because two p is the equivalent of 360 degrees. Now on our build method we want to create an animated builder and an animated builder needs a animation first of all. Here we pass our controller and the builder method. So we go here with build context, context and widget child. The child property can be provided if we create here another child property. So we go here with image.asset and then images sun.png and our sun here has a color of white so we will give it a color here. So I added here this sun color and we also go here with color dot sun color. So mine color is not yellow so you can go here with colors.yellow if you want to have a yellow sun. In our builder method we create a transform dot rotate and then we take the rotate animation dot value. The child is the child property. So we need to return it here and we also can transform this to an expression body. So what is going on here? We have the child in our animated builder and this child is kind of static. There's no animation. Therefore we pass it here inside and not in the builder. It would also work. So if we copy this all here, inside here it also works it's the same however it is more performant if we create the image in the child property and therefore only referring to this child property here by this child and so we display here our image and our image gets rotated by this rotate animation and this rotate animation here rotates from 0 to 360 degrees and now the last thing what we need to do is to call the controller in our init state and say something like repeat and now we have also to supply a period where we go with duration seconds and now we need also to import our widget here so we go into the main file import it we also want to center this widget here and if we hot restart this application then we have this sun here and if it's too small, we can also go here to our image asset and type something like scale. And if we want to have twice the size, we go with 0 0.5. And now if we hot restart it, we see this image in a bigger size. So it's basically one half or we can go one four and it's even bigger. Yeah, like this. So you can scale also an image or you can also go in the other direction and scale it down if you want to. And then you have this little image here. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!